Cardinal Coffee. Man, I have not been here in so long, I forgot about Cardinal Coffee. Sorry, guys. Son of a gun. Ugh. I'm like a quarter mile from the job that way, five miles from the job that way. Oh no, what is he doing? Oh my God. Well, he was getting the shot back there. <laughs> here we are back at the mountain job. What are we doing here? I don't know. We haven't been here in uh, six weeks. Is that I, at least six weeks? And I can say we have never, ever, even not even a close second place had a delay of this magnitude before. That's right. And it's and it's, we still don't have the windows, but we just decided to board them up and go. I've been trying to think positive. <laughs> okay. I don't think the homeowners are thinking positive. No, they're not. <laughs> they they're a little they're frustrated. hanging in there. Now they're not mad at us, because guess what? It's not our fault that the windows got all messed up, but they are a little bit frustrated. They're ready to get this thing done as much as we are. But I did think of one positive thing here, okay? All right. All right, we're getting ready to spray paint inside, primer and paint. Now, we always have the plastic over the windows. Yep. But guess what? Oh, there's no windows. Hey, there's no windows to cover, hey! Yeah. <laughs> so we saved a little bit of time right there, right? Nice. Gotta look at the bright side. We're not going into great detail about the cleaning and priming, but here's the big deal. Get all the dust out. All, all the drywall dust. I'm talking- And it's not easy. No, it takes a lot of work. Me and the guys with three vacuums, four guys, three vacuums. We've been doing this for like two or three hours now. That's the kind of work it takes to get it all cleaned out. And I want to remove it with a vacuum, okay? And here's the big pro tip. Put a bag in your vacuum. You know what I used to hate about sucking up drywall dust? Is about every 30 seconds you have to stop and take out the filter, the filter and go outside and bang it out and it gets all over you and the, the wind just like carries it off in whatever direction it goes all over everything but if you have a vacuum bag and the filter that doesn't happen i just vacuumed like four thousand square foot of walls <laughs> just get a couple reps i've already carried don't like hurt, 10 of these can you, can you do it <laughs> <laughs> come on there you go right, you maybe the next job you gotta try now all right <laughs> all right, all right, pro <laughs> challenge. Any of you guys on the job site, let me know if you can do it. Cause I'm, yeah, dude. I'm saying it's no for me. I'm saying it's right there is all I got. What is that? Let like? me know if you got it. I'm sure some guys out there are just like, mm -mm, oh yeah, mm -mm. with these. Not me. I'm a sissy. This is one of my least favorite things ever. <laughs> I'm trying to scrape off the mud without scratching the surface of the tub here. There's always a little mud. And if you don't take it off, you can't stick tape on here. And if you leave it and paint over it and it's out over the face of the tub. Looks it, like turd. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you one thing though, over the years I have realized, I think it's best to run a very small bead of caulk right there. Yep. After this is cleaned out, run a little tiny bead of caulk and then paint over the caulk. Mm. That's, that's what I'm gonna do here. So, yeah. The metal scraper on the tub is a little risky. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but what is great, Ingles Advantage card right here. It's kind of flexy, it's plastic, and uh, I'm not worried about scratching the tub with it. So after that corner's cut, I can just kind of chip away at it like this. And then you go get 15 cents off a gallon of gas. That's right. <laughs> All kinds of advantages. Missy Elliott, Miss Little Spider. Right. Keep looking. Keep looking, you'll see it. No, not there. No, not there. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
for a while now, I've been asking my drywall guys to leave all their joint compound buckets here. Mm -hmm. And I think they don't mind leaving them because that's just one less thing for them to clean up. So I hose them out and get them all scrubbed up. We use them when we're laying tile for mixing thin set and grout. We also use them for little trash cans. And uh, I use them at They're home. really handy. You know, you and need it's a freebie. Yeah. Uh, these cost like five bucks a piece at least if you go buy buckets, right? right? Yeah. So I, I think, think it's, it's smart. It's worth it. Pro tip. There you go. You got your mask on? No. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> One thing I will tell you is that when you're priming, usually primer doesn't cover like paint. Like you can see through it still if you've applied it to the right thickness or amount. So you don't put it on so thick that it covers or else it'll run. That's, that's the one thing I'll say. And this primer is tinted like just a little, which is kind of nice because we can see where it's applied easier. That's a real life tip. What? Real life. A oh, real life. Real life. Another real life tip if you're going to use it. What's a real life tip? It's not a pro tip. It's just a good tip. We're not pros. So another real life tip if you're going to use a sprayer, check the pressure dial. If you're uh, set really low, it's probably going to leave these lines at the edge of your spray pattern. What, that, is, what is line? What is line? That can flash through the final coat of paint. And if you turn it up to the right pressure, see this one has a lot. Well, there it goes. Uh, you'll get a more even spray without the lines. Uh, the lines could also mean that your spray tip is worn out and paint can actually wear out a metal spray tip. Isn't that crazy? Mm, yeah, that so. happens with age. <laughs> Real life tip there. I'm gonna paint my eye. Oh man. Here's the question. Um, we're doing the loft right now, but I think we should wait on the ceiling till we do the whole ceiling at once to keep that wet edge. What do you think? Yeah. Um, so I'll just do the walls for now. I need to shave my beard. It's too hot. No. <laughs> What's our realistic time frame of finishing this thing, you think? If we did it in a month, that would be amazing. Okay. So I'm thinking maybe not quite. It's like that fast. five or six weeks? Yeah. Six weeks, I think, is if we push hard. We're going to have to push hard because we got so much time that we lost that we're not going to make up for. We just got to get out of here. We do. We got to get done and move on. Something I noticed about this drywall is strange. The inside of it is gray instead of white. Yeah, it's hard to see. On, well, you can see it on camera. But usually it's not that color. I wonder if it's something to do with the COVID supply. I don't know. They I've ran out never of something. in my whole life seen drywall that's gray inside, and this is. Huh. Pretty weird. You really smell like onions right now. That's because I ate a whole <laughs> field get far enough. full of onions just now. <laughs> don't worry about it. Quit worrying about it. So we're usually having some hose management. Uh, here's why. If I'm just not paying attention, my hose is rubbing the wall. That's what we got. So we're gonna get a little whiz roller and touch that up, but raise my hose manager and I had him doing camera instead for a second. So. You need more employees. I do. I need a hose manager, a camera manager, a light guy, sound guy, refreshments guy, uh, stunt double <laughs> would be good. <laughs> Hey, if you're wondering what the Ellis is about, it's a good question. Check out Ray J Builder Buddies on YouTube. They got the answer there. This is like cheating, dude. They got two guns in one room. I know. And then they're gonna give you a freaking stain brush to cut with. <laughs> <laughs> and they're in here with two sprayers for one yeah. room. What are y'all chirping about over here? Uh, we're just saying how you got two of you spraying in one room and then you're going to give Ray a, in. You're gonna give Ray a stain brush to cut in there. Yeah, have you seen the brushes <laughs> that Jamie has? In oh, yeah, box? here. This is 14 years old, but let's get one last use out of it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's right. Now you're 
getting it. Now you're getting it. Since you'll probably end up doing all the baseboard, I wanted to point out how they mudded out where the seam would usually be. That's recessed down in there, see that? So now the baseboard won't want to tip in when you mm. nail it. Somehow you guys have been knocking out all the baseboard before I get to it, so. They did you a solid right there. We knock out a lot of stuff before you get to it. <laughs> what do you mean? What are you talking about? <laughs> what is that, bro? Dude, Ray got it filled up. Pull that off of there. To the top, wow. <laughs> I think you forgot to put the Vaseline on your face and on your <laughs> <laughs> and on your hair. Turn around. Hey, turn around. <laughs> uh, you're laughing, but you turn yeah, around. You're, you're, what? You're I got the same, same thing. Yeah. I wasn't even doing anything. <laughs> hey, I can tell you for sure. I did not forget to put the Vaseline on my face. All right. I'm not yes, going to yeah. do that again. My hair looks like his. The primer really brings out the paint. On the it eyes. really brings out your eyelashes. <laughs> Dude, you've got. Thank you. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, <laughs> Look at your hair. Yeah. <laughs> what is it? You didn't know me the last time. Is your it my hair? hair? Oh, oh, wow. It really brings out your ear hairs. Sweet. <laughs> hey, I want to take a quick break to thank some of the companies that work with us and have for a long time now, even before we were anybody on YouTube, which we really appreciate. Uh, Sashco is one of those companies. They make performance sealants and caulks like Big Stretch and Lexel. And we found them to be the best before they even knew who we were or anything like that. So they're a great company. If you haven't checked them out, their products are at Lowe's and a lot of other retailers. Uh, we really enjoy wearing True Work clothing. There's a link in our description or every description for 15% off their work clothes, which I love. They're like outdoor clothes that are stretchy, lightweight, and durable. Uh, they're really the best stuff I've found at any point in my life. Uh, so thank you to those guys. We've also been working with Huber and um, they just make great products. They're a great company. The folks there are great. And also LP, we love LP SmartSide and they've been partnering with us. Uh, and also I wanna thank Jennings Builder Supply. This has been our local building supplier for decades, like 20 years before I was even a builder. My dad would get on the phone and call Jerry at Jennings at six in the morning from our house, from our landline, because there were no cell phones. So I wanna thank those guys for partnering with us and we'll let you get back to the video, but I just wanted to take a quick moment to tell you guys thank you and we appreciate it. We're done priming and to save a whole day, I think, one whole day of work, because we're in a rush, we let this dry a while, now what are we gonna do? A while, you mean like one hour? One hour. <laughs> the primer's dried for one hour. Right now we're gonna switch to ceiling paint and go ahead and spray all the ceilings with the ceiling white so that tomorrow we can sand the walls, it'll all be dried, and we can start putting wall color on. Let's think about if we didn't spray the ceilings today. We come in tomorrow, let's say we spray all the ceilings, then guess what? Spray the ceiling paint. You spray the ceiling paint and then- It gets on the walls. Down on the walls, a little bit of overspray. Well, that's not gonna dry up during a whole day hard enough to sand, right? Because overnight it will dry enough. Right? Yes. But not during the day, like one day, a couple hours. It's still gonna be gummy and sticky, then you try to sand it, and it gets real messy, and it doesn't sand. I think Ray's ready to go. He was standing here staring at me. It's hot, man. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I can't breathe. Yeah, I can't breathe. It's hot. <laughs> can go build a barn or something? I can't hear you. Hey, uh, can we go build a barn or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We still got some work to do on the barn. Let's go ahead and do it. Wow, can you imagine doing this without a mask? <laughs> I guess. I think I'm gonna chuck this one, what do you think? Did you look like that guy from Home Alone when he smashes him with the paint? Oh yeah, the Harry, hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks, appreciate that.
This ladder has been here so long that there is a bird living there. It's a good one. I wonder bird. what kind of bird that is. I don't know. He's got the spot. He was right. He's got the view. He's got the roof. It's, it does have the view. I mean, I mean, he got to figure it out right there. You can't blame the bird at all. <laughs> but uh, he's like, please don't take this ladder down. We'll give you a couple more weeks, bird. We're back at the house and we're going to do our final step of prep work before paint. And this might be the most important thing you could do for a good looking paint job is to sand the primer. So everything is smooth and even. And I'm going to say it's difficult or near impossible to get a good looking paint job when you skip this step. You could put 20 coats of paint on, but if the drywall surface behind the paint is rough, it'll never look good. So we're using our sanding poles that have a pad. I like these round ones. We're using the medium grid. I think it's a 120 and we're sanding all the walls to make our paint look good. Huh. That's some hot work. Bud, you got some yeah. sweat going on. We're there. sanding in like 90 degrees in there with no breeze. Uh, but we got it done. So that's great progress. Probably like one working day now. We've gone from a mess to cleaned up to primed to sanded, ready to paint. So that's exciting to finally get going. It was like uh, just, I don't know, it was really painful to not be able to like work, you know, because we didn't have the windows and drywall. So yeah. making good progress. Any thoughts? Uh, yeah, about can the... you uh, quit dripping sweat yeah. on me, please? I mean... uh, I'm sweating. <laughs> yeah, yeah when I was sweat. sanding, there was sweating? I kept seeing spots on the wall, and I was like, "What is it?" And then I realized it was sweat Dude, flying yeah. off you, my. It's, when, it's when you say my... when you said we, what's what's really the we? Like when you said we, you meant you, Ray, me. Yeah, not. <laughs> hey, I was out here yeah, working hard. The other guy. Yeah, so. Um, Anyway, yeah, we're back at it. It's really great. I think the homeowners going to be really pleased to hear that we're making this progress and we're coming down to the end of the line so they can finally get moved in here and retire. They're waiting for us to retire. No. Like when we're done, that's when we're retiring. So Shoot. when they got put off like months and months and months, they're working extra. Like So, I mean, thank you to the clients for working extra. Their bosses are like, yeah. yes, another two months. <laughs> yeah, so that's where we're at. We do have a delivery date for the windows of the 23rd or 24th of June and today's like the 15th or something. So you do that's the, soon. You do the math. You do the math. Uh, we're rocking and rolling. Thanks for building with us. We'll see you for painting. We'll sweat with you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> you know, really it is kind of stressful knowing how many loose ends are out here, like unfinished things. You know what I mean? Everywhere you look, there's something that got partially done. And yep. that just doesn't sit well with me mentally. I like to have closure. You know what I'm saying? I got no closure. So Jamie's had a lot of trouble with relationships. We need to. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> oh wow, you got me there. Uh, yeah. So knocking these things off the list, it's good. Helps you sleep at night. Mm -hmm. I've had my first failure <laughs> on the uh, pr a pencil pro puller. Yeah. That is stuck in there. I've been trying for like 20 minutes to get it out. So I need Jono's uh, little, you know, <laughs> dentist. Oh, stuff. that thing. The dentist tool, but. Oh. Mm. Just put some Luxel on the end of that thing and stick it Well, then it it'll never in. come out, ever. That's even perfect. When it's gone. <laughs> you just have a little nubbin like this forever. I knew this day would come. <laughs> oh, no. Not with your teeth. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> what is going on? All right, he fixed it. It's all good now. Thanks, man. You got it, bub. Sorry about your teeth. I'm good.